Hi all, Terhi here again. And as I promised, today I'm back with Hipki Club February Kits. And right now I'm doing something with the February Kits. Something that you didn't expect. Or maybe you did. Anyway, uh, I'm using the Shimmer's Watercolor thing we had from uh, Color Kit. And I'm using it together with a watercolor uh, pencil. I'm adding it drop by drop to the background. I'm using white cardstock and I did some um, gesso, one gesso layer on the background with clear gesso to make sure this watercolor thing <laughs> is good with the background. Uh, actually, this is quite dry right now, so you can try it without the gesso. But I'm adding this uh, watercolor thing. What is it called? It's not actually watercolor, or maybe it isn't. Anyway, it has some sheen in it, so it's really, really nice. And I love this teal green uh, turquoise uh, color. Uh, so when I'm ready with my drops, I'm adding some water on top. Uh, it creates a nice pattern, which you are going to see later. Uh, the water is falling there and falling here, so it really creates another natural shapes of of uh, or uneven shapes of color on the background. I really love this technique and as you see you can do it with the water any watercolors. You don't have to use mists as I have used before. So my point today is that you can use your products in a way you didn't expect. Uh, later on this layout I'm also using this same same uh, product with the um, basic way uh, coloring it coloring something with with it but right now I'm using it this way and now that I have a lot of water uh, on my background I'm adding more color because the water eats the color uh, if I don't do this so it takes some time this is not the fastest way to create your background but it's it's really nice and if you have some other colors, you can use them now. Uh, in this detail shot next, uh, I have added some, some cold mist, but you can see the shapes you get with this technique and I really love it. It's not messy, it's really light, but it's still mixed media and I love it. So. Uh, last week I showed you how to build these paper clusters, so in this video I'm not showing them. Uh, I have added the paper cluster and the photograph and, and some stickers uh, to my layout and right now I'm embellishing it. Uh, we had this Heidi Swap uh, notes in Project Life Kit and I thought why not to use them on a layout because they create some really nice details. We have this uh, glitter uh, note and some some sets says like let's do this or something and it really matches to this picture. Um, in this picture is me and my dear horse Lotte and she eats a carrot from my mouth. Yes, that's something you really should teach to your horse to do. No, it was so fun. Um, and the title says loved and sharing. So we are sharing everything, our time and our food and everything. Anyway, so I'm adding some, 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 some embellishments and then I'm doing the dry gesso thing. I have dry brush and I'm taking some white gesso and adding it 
on top of the embellishments and on top of the paper layers and I added even some some uh, what is it called uh, these clear uh, kind of diamond or acetate shapes on the background anyway you can see them on the detail shots and I'm add adding this gesso on top of them to um, it leaves really uh, it did it don't leave a lot of white to these embellishments and paper but some and I really love the effect and the last phase is when the gesso is completely dry I'm coloring uh, some parts of the layout with the same watercolor I used on the background. Uh, again, I'm using the watercolor brush uh, because I thought it would be the best way. It gives the right amount of water, so it's it's really nice. Uh, and I'm not coloring everything with the same color because it would look kind of stupid, but some so it's really smooth this layout when it's finished and I really like it and again this is really nice to do even though this is really really slow way to do this uh, at least for me because I'm really quick scrubber but but it's really nice and and uh, you can kind of focus on the details uh, really well so this was it. I hope you are inspired to use your watercolors and if you want to uh, try some new products you should really consider to try the hip kit club because you get every month something new in your color kit and I really love it. Uh, this month we had this exclusive stencil and texture paste and this watercolor and 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 <laughs> so it's really nice. Uh, Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day today and again thank you for watching. Uh, did I say thank you for watching? Yes. So we'll see you again next week. Bye!